Hello there guys and welcome to Roller Coaster of the Week here on the Theme Park Worldwide YouTube channel. Now as you can see behind me, that beautiful blue roller coaster there is Shockwave and that is an Intamin stand-up roller coaster here at Drayton Manor Theme Park in Staffordshire. Now it might look like a B&M, um, it's got B&M style track and supports there, um, but this is actually one of the last coasters um, before B&M became a company and um, they split it with Intamin and it's become a separate company. Um, so it basically it's the only stand-up roller coaster in Europe and it's also the only stand-up roller coaster in the world um, to have a zero G roll uh, making it quite special and the reason probably because of that is because it's pretty painful um, on especially on your man parts um, but it's, it's a good it's a good ride and um, so it's created as part of a two-year um, four million pound project in 1994 and um, the project also included the building of Splash Canyon um, which is a rapid ride underneath the roller coaster. Um, so Shockwave Station is located directly above Splash Canyon Station area um, in the Action Park area. Uh, so we're in Action Park now, you've got G-Force, as you can probably hear going on just behind me there. Um, G-Force vertical lift. Um, yeah, so it, it's a brilliant ride. Um, so it reaches a top speed of 53 miles per hour and delivers 4G. Um, so you climb up the left hill, to 120 feet and then it's an 80 foot drop um, into a loop followed by the zero g roll uh, a little straight section of track there uh, a corkscrew then a helix and then into another corkscrew uh, it started off with brown supports when it originally opened as you can see now they're painted a light blue um, they were updated um, back in 2004 um, so in 1994 and um, the ride opened along with two other major coasters in the uk and um, you had the pepsi max big one down at blackpool and also Nemesis at Alton Towers. So it had quite a bit of competition um, to go with it there. Um, it was actually nearly had to have be closed or have some updates to it um, because of the locals complaining um, that the left hill was built in the wrong place, believe it or not. Um, but it was actually correct to the plans uh, and that was all resolved and that would die down shortly after it opened. And um, they thought it was, you know, too close to the boundary of the park and was built in the wrong place. Interesting fact for you there. Um, so a, quick, a few quick facts for you. As we just said, it's an Intamin stand-up roller coaster with a chain lift hill. Um, the height of 37 metres, the first drop of 24 metres, a length, a total track length of 500 metres, uh, a top speed of 53 miles per hour, four inversions, a ride duration of two minutes and 4G. Um, so now we're going to give it the famous Sean thumbs up rating and we're going to give it, for a thrill rating, I'm going to give it four out of five thumbs up, as you can see just there. Um, it's a good thrilling ride and I do really enjoy it. Um, family rating, I'm going to give it two out of five. Um, now it's good for maybe a, a first sort of big coaster um, once they reach up to 1.4 because that is the height restriction on it. Um, so we, we, we would give that a two out of five. Um, because of that reason. Um, theming rating, uh, I'm gonna give it a two as well. Um, not a lot of theming, it's nice how it interacts with the uh, rapid ride. Um, but when it comes to actual theming, there's not a, um, a hell of a lot really, apart from a big sort of wooden shed as the station. Um, and then, so the overall rating for this attraction, um, Shockwave at Drayton Manor from opening in 1994, here on Theme Park Worldwide, we're gonna give it a grand total of three out of five thumbs up. That is all for Roller Coaster of the Week for this week. Tune in on Monday for the latest episode of Theme Park Worldwide, the show. And once again next Friday for another Roller Coaster of the Week. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you soon.